My name is Rita Lucia. Today's date is Friday, March 3rd, 2023. We have an amazing show for you guys. Today in the studio, we have the band Anxious, a little band from Connecticut, Massachusetts. They are on a nice long tour supporting Drug Church and Prince Daddy and the Hyena, promoting their debut record, Little Greenhouse, um, which Stereo Gum named Album of the Week, No Big Deal. Please check out the band and consider picking up a copy if you like what you hear. Follow them on social media and like and subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up with all the new exciting talent we discover for you. Just like this band here, who's about to rip the lid off this place. So without further ado, let it shred, guys. <laughs>
Poetry Live. You are listening to Anxious. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for having us. This is great. This is awesome. Yeah, it's an honor. Your fans might not know that some of you guys are like childhood friends. And so, and you formed this band in middle school. I'm curious to know, is this y'all's first experience with live music? Was it, were any of you in band or orchestra, or did you go s- just straight into forming a shredder rock band in middle school? So it's, uh, it's really funny, you know, um, a lot of, or, you know, touring a lot lately, you get to talk to a lot of other bands, and everyone, uh, eventually the topic rolls around of talking about your first band from middle school or high school, and everyone talks about, oh my God, how bad it was, and how, how cringy and horrible it was, and then the question gets, like, tossed in our court, and it's, so what was, like, the really awful, like, cringy band you started when you were in <laughs> high school? And, well, I'm still playing in it. So, um, so yeah, Aww. Anxious is, uh, is my real formal uh, fir- first, like, try at a band. And uh, six years later, we're still here. It's inspiring. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Um, Anybody else? Uh, Grady and I used to do this music program together when we were, like, in eighth grade or seventh grade. And... Um, I, I found out when I was a freshman in high school that he was really into Blink, and I started, like, punishing him over <laughs> text or Snapchat or something about it, and eventually he was like, do you want to play drums in my band? And, and then these maniacs joined later on. How did you guys meet these two over here? I'm, I'm not from the East Coast like the rest of the band. I grew up in Oklahoma, and uh, I used to play in a band there when I was, like, 19, and uh, I, I came across Anxious, because I think Pat Flynn posted like a like a big up post like check out these young bucks from CT and uh, it was literally like that. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got away with words that guy. But um, uh, I thought it was cool. I I think you guys had one song out. I think it, I don't know what the first song from the demo you guys put out was, but I was like, man, this is pretty. This is cool. Like these guys get it. So I I like messaged the the anxious. Instagram account and was like, hey, I play in this band. Um, we should do some shows. And then me and my uh, bandmates got in a 2001 uh, Ram prison van. It was that crazy. We bought. <laughs> and we drove up to uh, Fairfield County and played some shows. And it was The rest awesome. is history. They were really bad. And I had more fun than I've ever had on any tour since. Yeah, Aww. yeah. I've known Johnny for forever, too. I mean, we just knew each other through going to, sh- going to shows for, for, for years in Connecticut. And then uh, we asked him if he would uh, come roadie and hang out on a tour. And then about three weeks before the tour started, um, Dante, who was playing drums, and me like, had a conversation. And we just said, we should just we should just have Johnny play drums. Like, we should just have Johnny come play drums in the band. And it, like, it wasn't even really a discussion. It was just like, yeah, Johnny will just come play drums. And I, I gave him a call. Um, and it was pretty much settled then and there. Um, and then, to my understanding, he didn't stop practicing the songs for, like, three weeks straight. Yeah. Uh, huge fan. Huge fan <laughs> here. Um, yeah, the band says that you come hang out on tour. And then uh, they were like, oh, you want to play drums? I was like, yep. I do want to play drums. I do want to do that. <laughs> yeah. So I that's, was pretty um, bad at drums. That's yeah. like, Dante was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was no better at the time, though. That's like, so that's like mid-2019. mid, 20, mid 2019. Um, And then to- Tommy, um, you know, pretty similar situation. You know, um, he started, you know, just playing guitar with us on tour. And then it just immediately was like an obvious fit. And so we did a few tours together. And then, you know... Um, mid last year, we you know it was just clear that Tommy should uh, should be rocking with us, and he's yeah. he's been in the band, you know. Um, I mean, almost almost a, a whole year now he's been yeah. playing with us, and now he's it's he's crazy. in the band, and it's great. Everyone Aww. is super close friends. It's it's oh, yeah. it's it. That part is really cool. That's Everybody beautiful. is really good. It really good feels friends. like you guys found your stride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. It's uh, yeah. it's uh, my outsider perspective is that a lot of bands. Uh, <laughs> the internal dynamic is really chaotic and uh, a lot of arguments and a lot of frustration. And, uh, you know, that seldom occurs with anxious. Never occurs. 
And I, I mean, think we've, we have never fought <laughs> once. Never. And we've never that, been mad at each other ever. I'm not planning to fight. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Johnny live together, so it's like we come home from being on the road for six weeks, and then I got to see, see his you. stupid face. Every day. <laughs> yeah, anyway. And I think um, an important thing to note is that uh, I can speak for all three of us. I mean, Grady and Dante are OGs, but we were all, like, mega fans of the band before joining. Oh, no and way. I think it was, oh, yeah. And I think we took that passion that we had for the music before we'd ever played any of it on an instrument, and we try and put as much of that into playing oh, it now. That's so special. That's really cool. You guys have a really cool dynamic. It's very inspiring. Thank you. Yeah, that, um, that's, that's the story. Yeah. Well, thank you. I mm. wanted to know. Okay, well. <laughs> um, with that, I'm going to let you guys rip into your next couple of songs. Cool. Go ahead and let it take away. Okay. <laughs> tune was called Sun Sign. You're listening to Anxious. So, you guys have been on some massively long tours, and you've been put on some really cool placements. You've played some dope festivals. So, and first of all, congratulations Thank on you. all of your success. Yeah, of Thank course. You. 
So I'm curious, do you guys have any notable stories, any brushing into anybody in the green room? Like, I'm just, I just want to know anything crazy happened on tour. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> on the last tour, we had a, we had a pretty, pretty funny situation. Um, so somehow, I mean, we were, we were driving uh, through the lower Midwest, which anybody who lives there or has toured through there will tell you the, the gas stations, like, have all sorts of, crazy weird stuff that they'll sell you and the, the just the thing that we bought actually in and of itself wasn't that crazy but somehow we somehow we left a gas station with this with this rubber band gun and uh, uh <laughs> and we were just messing around with it uh for like a day or two and then one day we were uh, we were pulled over to the side of the road because uh a few of us had to go to the bathroom real quick um and so while doing that everyone was messing around and someone pulled out the rubber band gun and while it was me. Were, <laughs> and while we were standing around, Johnny started whipping everybody with the rubber band gun. Well, Dorian had been shooting him in the back of the head while he was driving. Yes, yeah. Our friend Dorian so, had just been repeatedly just so while he was using Johnny. the restroom. Yeah, while he was peeing. I had him. I had him like execution this. style. And, um, yeah. Like we're just running around like shooting each other with his rubber band gun. Some people are tackling each other. We, we, we get back into the van, and, you know, we get about five minutes up the road, and then a police car starts following us. And well, then we another start one hearing starts, them, like, fly yeah, by. flying right? by. And then very quickly we're pulled over in a, in a squad car pulls up behind us, and then another one pulls up in front of us, and then about like, two five more pull more. to the side. <laughs> and they, like, cautious, cautiously, like, approach the van and... You know, they ask for our information. They're like, "We've gotten a report that there was uh, that there was a, a fight on the side of the road involving a firearm, and uh, oh my God. the report matches your vehicle. Would you know anything about this?" And we like immediately started laughing. And the, you know, you know, the guy was like, "What?" You know, he couldn't he couldn't totally read the you know, the situation. But then we were like, "No, no, we have a we have a rubber band gun." And like almost immediately, like you could just see like how pissed this dude was that like <laughs> all of these were i mean in the whole they time so you're seeing bummed. cops are like so flying bummed. down each way of the highway like clearly trying to look for whatever this like claim was and apparently it was some really really old lady uh saw us fight, fighting on the side of the road and made like a 911 call they're shooting each other <laughs> yeah yeah so um the cop the cops got a, a pretty good kick at, kick out of it um i should have done yeah. it that day <laughs> Dorian, shout out Dorian. Yeah, shout yeah, out yeah. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, the rubber band shootout of anxious 2022. Yeah, that's a, a warning to other bands yeah. out yeah. there. Don't yeah. don't bring gun like things on the road. Yeah, anxious is really hard. We bring we bring rubber band guns with us on the road. I hear it in the music. I hear yeah. the violence. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, for really, sure. we're really tough. We're really really hard dudes. Dante smile. especially. <laughs> You know what, with that, I'm gonna let you guys rip into the next tune if you're ready. Yeah. Let's do cool. it.
treasured in your eyes I fell in them Audio Tree Live. That was anxious. All right, let's talk about Little Greenhouse for a second. Sure. Uh, it's a really great rock record. Congrats. Thank you. I wanted to open up the discussion to the band. Like, who are your guys' influence? When I was listening to record, I heard like a touch of Beach Boys. I'm wondering if there's, I think we know like with this genre, the post melodic hardcore genre, maybe the spearheads of the genre, and maybe we can expect who might influence you. I want to know. Who wouldn't you we expect? Like, what are your weirdest influences? Uh, I think the, the you know, we tried to be uh, as eclectic as possible uh, when putting this record together. And I think, um, you know, uh, with a lot of alternative music and, uh, uh, you know, hardcore and punk and emo stuff especially, there can be, you know, a big effort to, to try to capture a time and a place and a sound and a style. And, um, you know... Uh, you know, I think that's great, and a lot of you know a lot of my favorite bands uh, have have done that. But you know, in um, in putting this record together, we you know, you know, the leading thing was not trying to replicate or try to capture one time or place or a sound or style, and just you know try to be as <laughs> fearless as possible, just as far as you know doing all the things that we wanted to do. So I think like a lot of the 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 root influences are there, but I right. think um, you know on this record. It's it's a lot more it's a lot more expansive. Yeah, you can tell it comes through. Yeah. Well, I want like I want to ask the rest of the band, what's the weirdest thing you guys are listening to right now? <laughs> um, that well, no one would expect. I'm I'm a really big Animal Collective fan. Mm. No way. Okay. It, it kind of pisses everyone off a lot, <laughs> especially when I have Ox in the van. But you gotta um, piss them off sometimes. But little do they know, uh, I I try and take a lot of songwriting influence from mm -hmm. them and like production influence um on the record I, I i was uh trying to use a lot of uh like early aughts radio music that my my parents had played me when i was a kid yeah uh, I, I was getting into like uh death cab for cutie and founds of wayne because those are two big bands that I, I thought about it and i was like i feel like all the music that i like is based on those seeds of influence. Yeah. So I try to like study all their stuff and listen to it as much as possible. And mm -hmm. I think the thing that I, I, I tried to bring to the table when Grady Johnny and I were working on the record was I wanted to approach the songwriting from a really like pop minded perspective of making the melodies the 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 most important thing and everything going on and the genre and the you know the instruments used being more of just, you know, the means to get there and more the, like the, the aesthetic, but not the full purpose of, of the, the songs. And I don't know, that's, that's why I feel really good about the record in, in that space. And I, I continue to try and write music like that because I just, I like, I like writing melodies and, and songs regardless of what they are. Yeah, I mean, your music has a really strong pop foundation, like strong choruses. Thanks. It has that really strong formatting of like a pop song. With, but still being in that genre, you know, which is cool. Like, how do you guys feel about pop music? Is it something that's important to you? Do you want to subvert it or do you honor it? I mean, I hear it in the music. Like, how do you, f where does pop music live in your musical brain? Love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I, I, th I, think it's, I think it's pretty present. I, you know, yeah. 
I don't I don't think anxious has has any sort of aversion to it. I mean, uh, you know, m- melody is uh, is everything. It's kind of the mm-hmm. the name of the game, at least in in putting when we're putting songs together. And I think uh, there's a lot of I don't know pop music as a as a as a term is like I feel like means so much, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it definitely it definitely matters and is prevalent to anxious. I think pop can be like any anything, any genre, yeah. any kind of music. So in my eyes, Anxious is a pop band. Mm. It's about doing that. Mm. You heard it here first. I also Hot love, take. I love the Beach Boys. That's a, that's a big one. I also love the Beach yeah. Boys. I also love Animal Collective, but I, I won't yeah. geek out with that with you. <laughs> well, thanks for being in the studio today, guys. Thank you. I'm thanks gonna, for having us. Yeah, you're welcome. Your last song is called The Growing Up Song. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to hear it. Take it away. I'll take my time to see you from the other side. up our audio tree session with anxious that was so awesome guys thanks again for coming in you're welcome i want to give a big thank you to the crew all the, the sound engineers the lighting 
Thank you. No more people. Thank you, guys. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting Anxious and picking up a copy of their record. Um, and to the viewers, thank you for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel. And from all of us here at the studio, thanks for tuning in and see you soon.